Maduro. In the images, we see the Venezuelan president receiving the heads of state. In this case, he is greeting Luis Arce, president of Bolivia. Let's recall that earlier today, we witnessed the arrivals of the Bolivian president, as well as the Cuban president, Miguel Díaz-Canel, also the prime ministers of Dominica, Cruz Bosqueritz, and the prime minister of St. Lucia as well. We are now watching as the heads of state enter the Miraflores Palace in Caracas. They have arrived in Venezuela for the 23rd summit of Alba TCP. Let's recall that Alba TCP is a regional bloc that unites the Bolivarian republics of the region and is intended to bring together this government, its peoples, in the objective of strengthening cooperation between the nations, strengthening cooperation between the peoples. The heads of state are actually expected to set a common 2030 agenda in this opportunity in this summit that is being held in Caracas today, Wednesday. So we're looking at live images from the Mira Flores Palace from outside the premises in Caracas earlier today and also on Tuesday's afternoon, we've been witnessing the arrival of different heads of state who have been arriving in the Venezuelan capital for this summit. Let's recall also that Last week, movements, social movement organizations from around the continent met in Caracas as well for the Alba TCP Movement Summit. They were met there by Jorge Arreaza, Secretary General of Alba TCP, and in that occasion where movements and militants and activists from around the continent and the world met together in what was called the global, the gathering for a global social alternative. This new meeting, this new summit of heads of state of the Alba TCP was also announced in which different heads of state of the member nations are meant to come together and discuss cooperation between the nations and increased relations at the heads of state level, while the movement and social organizations level have all already met in this past summit. Let's recall the importance of the Alba TCP regional bloc in the face of different challenges that the present is imposing currently on the region. And this block, this regional mechanism has been thought out and has been carrying this objective of prevailing regional integration as a way of meeting and dealing with the challenges that different nations are facing. Let's recall that, for example, Cuba and Venezuela face unilateral course of measures that have greatly hindered their development and, however, bilateral and boosted relations between all these countries have really been able to help them cope with this situations, this illegal measures that are imposed upon them. This and others, of course, are some of the key objectives of a blog such as the Alba TCP. And today, Wednesday, 
24th of April, the heads of state are gathering for a new summit of the regional bloc, in which we were saying before, a strategic agenda for the year 2030 is also expected to be presented. This high-level encounter was announced last week by the Secretary Exe Executive of the Bolivarian Alliance for the Peoples of Our America and People's Trade Treaty of a TCP, Jorge Arreaza, during the celebration of the global gathering for a social alternative. In that occasion, the last week's meeting was a gathering that took place over two days and actually counted with the presence of 300 delegates from over 60 countries who assisted from different organizations and social movements, political parties, also intellectuals, academics, from the member states of the bloc, and also guests from Africa, Asia, Europe, North and South America. The participation in this important meeting for this international Latin American and Caribbean mechanism of most of the heads of state and government or chief delegations has been informed in the last hours, the heads of state and the heads of each delegation has already have already arrived, most of them to the city of Caracas, where the summit is about to begin, it's about to take place. Let's recall who are the heads of the delegations and the heads of state who are set to take part in this 23rd of a TCP summit. First of all, of course, host President of Venezuela, Nicolás Maduro, has been receiving the delegations at the Miraflores Palace. We've just seen images, live images, in which we could see President Maduro receiving his counterparts at the government house. Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda, Gaston Brown, also arrived in Caracas on late Tuesday. Also, Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Ralph Gonzalez, arrived on Tuesday in Caracas to take part in this event. Daniel Ortega, President of the Republic of Nicaragua, will also take part in the regional summit that brings together heads of state and chiefs of delegation for the ALBA TCP nations. President of Cuba, Miguel Diaz-Canel, arrived earlier on Wednesday. He was greeted, as were the other delegations, by Foreign Minister of Venezuela, Ivan Gil. And he is also set to take part in the summit, as are Prime Minister of Dominica, Roosevelt Skerritt, who also arrived earlier today. We had live images in Talisir English as well. President of Bolivia, Luis Arce, is also taking part of this meeting, this gathering of heads of state. We actually just saw President Arce, Bolivian president, entering the Miraflores Palace and being received by President Maduro just minutes ago. We were live with those images as well. And other heads of state and chief of delegations who are taking part are the Prime Minister of San Lucia, Philippe Pierre, who also arrived in Caracas just hours ago. The Foreign Minister of Granada, Joseph Ando, and the Ambassador from San Kitts and Nevis, Norgen Wilson, is also set to take part in this regional summit. Nicolás Maduro condenaba las cuatro conspiraciones que han sido detectadas este año 
que buscaban asesinarlo. De seguro va a ser también uno de los puntos cómo hacer frente a estas Of last 18 and 19th, we were saying that this summit that is about to take place on, in Caracas was preceded by another Alba TCP meeting that took place last week on the 18th and 19th of April, a meeting that in that case brought together social movements and activists from all over the world, but specifically gathered the state mem member states participants from the member states of the Alba TCP bloc and also had guests from all over the world. And in that occasion, that was a two-day gathering which sought to put together initiatives and proposals with the joint objective of looking for a global alternative, a global social alternative for today's world. In that occasion, the secretary, executive secretary of the bloc, Jorge Arreaza, presented a work called The Beginning of the Principle of Unity as a transforming element. And he also affirmed that the objective of the Alba TCP is to accomplish self-determination and also to be free and happy with all the basic necessities met. In this case, Jorge Arreaza also last week spoke about the sense of strategy that include new projects to take part in the plans and these meetings that will cover main topics regarding the economic, health, education, feeding and the environment. Again, we are looking at images live from the Miraflores Palace in Caracas. We see President Nicolás Maduro who is greeting the different heads of state who are arriving who are arriving at the government house set to take part in this 23rd summit of the regional bloc. Of Alba TCP. Now we are looking at Maduro greet Prime Minister of Dominica, Roosevelt Skerritt, who arrived in Caracas just hours ago, earlier today, and now is being greet, greeted by by Nicolás Maduro and also by the first combatant of Venezuela. This is the official greeting, the, the official welcoming that all the heads of state who are set to participate in this Alba TCP summit are being greeted with. So what we are seeing now is that every delegation, every head of state or representative from each one of the member state nations that are set to participate today are being greeted at the Miraflores Palace ahead of an important summit that will take place. We are looking again at Venezuelan President Nicolás Maduro. In this case, he is welcoming Prime Minister of San Lucia and he is greeting the Prime Minister of San Lucia. We see the whole delegation, the official Venezuelan greeting to the heads of state. Just minutes ago, we saw Bolivian President Luis Arce being greeted as well. 
So one by one, the heads of state are entering the premises. They are about to gather, they are about to join in a meeting that is expected to bring closer ties between the nations. We are now seeing Philip Pierre. We just saw Philip Pierre, Prime Minister of St. Lucia. And again, we go back to images outside the Miraflores Palace as Venezuelan President continues to greet each one of the presidents, prime ministers, who are just about to begin this 23rd summit of the ALBA TCP. Let's recall while we are looking at these live images from the Miraflores Palace that the Bolivarian Alliance for the People of Our America and People's Trade Treaty, ALBA TCP, is a platform of in Latin America and Caribbean integration, which has an emphasis, a particular emphasis on the social dimension that is one of the fundamental, one of the centers of the integration of the peoples as human beings is a mechanism that was sought to that seeks to bring together the peoples of Latin America and the Caribbean nation and is based on the solidarity among the nations, among the people. And we see this in the efforts that are being made to close ties in this 23rd summit that is about to begin now in Caracas. Again, we are looking at President Maduro receive the regional leaders of ALBA TCP. In this case, we are looking at President Maduro greet Joseph Andal. He is the, the foreign minister of Canada who is taking part in this meeting on behalf of his Caribbean nation. Now we see him greet First Commander Celia Flores as well, and is now being welcomed in, as have the past heads of state ahead of him. And we see that more delegations are coming in. We've seen Luis Arce, President of Bolivia. We've seen the Prime Minister of Dominica. We've also seen the Prime Minister of San Lucia. And now we have just seen the Foreign Minister of Granada. And now we see that President Maduro is greeting Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Ralph Gonzalez. Ralph Gonzalez has been one of the first heads of state to arrive in Caracas for this meeting. Let's recall that Ralph Gonzalez has played a key role during the past months in issues that have concerned the well-being of the region and with particular closeness to Venezuela. He has been a key mediator in negotiations for the Esequibo, for example, and as we see now that he is entering the Miraflores Palace, we can say that relations still stand strong. Rolf Gonzalez has been, until passing the position to President of Honduras, CELAC pro tempore president for the last year, and in that capacity, he played a key role in the region. He is now entering the premises for the upcoming ALBA-TCP summit. Now we see another car arrive. 
and being greeted by President, Venezuelan President Nicolás Maduro, tomando estas autoridades para seguir fortaleciendo este bloque de integración latinoamericana, este organismo que abordará... The Venezuelan president continues to greet the delegations ahead of a summit that is intended to strengthen cooperation between the nations. Nicolás Maduro continúa conversando con cada uno we can see that the pre Venezuelan president is taking a time to greet each one of the heads of state. We are looking in this moment as he greets Gaston Brown, that is Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda. He, president Maduro is taking a time to greet each one of the heads of state, each one of the chiefs of delegation who are arriving at the summit, which of course focuses on the integration between the Latin America and Caribbean leaders. We have seen, we have already seen the different uh, heads of state entering the premises, being accompanied by President Nicolás Maduro, who is hosting this Alba TCP summit. Before this summit that is taking place, in Caracas, the last Alba TCP summit was celebrated in December of 2022 in Havana, Cuba, and in that case the participants ratified their commitment with the strengthening of the bloc as an instrument for the union of the peoples on the base of the principles of solidarity, so social justice, cooperation, and also joint economics. Let's recall that one of the objectives of this blog as a regional mechanism is to be able to not only strengthen bilateral ties, to strengthen ties between all the member nations, but also to make solidarity a key principle in the path towards development of all nations. That is a mechanism that, is, that seeks to strengthen the development of the peoples, to strengthen the development of the nations in key areas such as education, economics, health, in order to, with solidarity as a key principle, bring further development for the region as a whole, as opposed to a, com to a competition mechanism. And this hope, this hopes and these dreams have brought together this Bolivarian alliance, who are now for these nations who are now meeting in Caracas for the 23rd summit. Let's remember that this encounter was actually announced last week by the Executive Secretary of the Bolivarian Alliance of the Peoples of Our Americas, People's Trade Agreement, Jorge Arreaza, during a celebration that took place also in Caracas that brought together different organizations and activists from the member, member nations of the bloc and also guests from all over the world. And now that that first instance of gathering, we are talking about the gathering that took place last week and was, was announced under the name of 
a gathering for a social global alternative. After that meeting that brought together social movements of the region, now it's a time, it's a turn of the heads of state to meet at the highest level to be able that they ensure the mechanisms of cooperation that this mechanism intends to bring about for all the member nations in the Latin America and Caribbean region. Let's remember that the Bolivarian Alliance for the Peoples of Our America and the Trade Commerce People's Trade Commerce, ALBA TCP, is a platform of integration of Latin America and Caribbean region and it has a historical emphasis on the social dimension having integration at the human level human being level as the center of that integration that is based on solidarity that is based on cooperation and justice and the possibility of bringing together the capacities and the strength of every country that conforms the mechanism. ALBA TCP as a regional bloc also has an objective, the idea of achieving integral development of these nations and now we see President Maduro Again, welcoming further members of the delegations who are arriving at the Miraflores Palace. We are looking at the delegations arrive at the Miraflores Palace. We are looking at live images outside the Miraflores Palace and this is a particularly warm welcome that the Venezuelan president is giving to all member nations that are coming here to Caracas, Venezuela to take part in this ALBA TCP meeting. President Maduro is greeting one by one each one of the heads of state, each one of the delegation chiefs of the member nations. So, Norgan Wilson has already also arrived to the to the Venezuelan House of Government. And now we see President of Venezuela, Nicolás Maduro, greet Daniel Ortega, that is the President of the Republic of Nicaragua. In this way, President Maduro is exchanging some words. He has really taken the time to greet every head of state, every president, every prime minister. And of course, relations between Venezuela and Nicaragua have been very important for both nations as they now show in this exchange, in this warm exchange between President Nicolás Maduro and President Daniel Ortega. So we see how Nicolás Maduro is accompanying Daniel Ortega inside. Silvia Flores, first combatant in Venezuela, is now welcoming Daniel Ortega as well. They have done this for every head of state, every president, prime minister who have come to the Miros Flores Palace, all of this in the framework of the 23rd ALBA TCP Summit that is taking place, that is officially beginning now and is about to take place in Caracas, Venezuela. 
a lo largo de esta cita internacional. Nosotros seguimos compartiendo, por supuesto, la llegada de cada uno. And as we continue, we see that there are more members of the delegations that are arriving at the Miraflores Palace as President Venezuelan President Nicolás Maduro is greeting each one of them. We have just seen the ambassador of San Quintz and Neves. We have just seen uh, Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega. And it's now the turn of Cuban President Miguel Díaz-Canel, who is also being greeted by Nicolás Maduro with a warm hug and also a few exchange of words. They are now posing for an official photograph. The president, the Cuban president, Miguel Díaz-Canel, has arrived in Caracas just hours ago. He was received at the airport by Venezuelan Foreign Minister Ivan Gil, and he is now at this moment entering the premises of the Miraflores Palace and we now see both heads of state and the whole committee entering the Miraflores Palace 